यस यस अच्छा प्लीज टेक इट सो थैंक यू actually thank you for joining the call uh, could you please introduce yourself uh, with your previous experience the roles and responsibilities you handle and then the skill set that you possess sure 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 so my name is akshay i have completed my bachelor's in electronics and telecommunications engineering and it's been like around 8 years i'm working so i have worked in the data analytics profile most most close to data analytics and uh, developing the bi reports so i have been worked in the uh, telecom networking it and uh, e-commerce domain for different different clients so i have good experience on developing the ad hoc report and uh, developing tableau dashboards as per the requirement so more into roles and the responsibilities is like to understand the business requirement and to identify the the data like how the data is stored in sql server or different server and understanding how the sql script can be built to pump the data on the front end and develop the tableau dashboards so my work is like divided into two parts like first one is like uh, developing the back end sql queries and uh, bring the data at the front end and then at the front end side i develop the uh, tableau dashboard for the same data so in this entire process i do uh, collaborate with the different uh, technical teams like dba teams or stakeholders and the business team to uh, for the business team is like to understand the exact requirement and for the stakeholders is more into the uh, validation of the data like whatever data i do have from the different servers like it is up to date or not so i can uh, prepare the data accordingly and develop the tableau dashboard at the front end so with the business team is more like the confirming the final layout of the dashboard confirmation of the uh, charts like what kind of charts they want to use or they want to see in the dashboard uh, filters like uh, if it, as per the users different levels like i use different filters or develop the different filter to get more interaction with the data for the non familiar users and yeah that's it in nutshell i am doing mm -hmm. okay okay so how many years of experience do you have in tableau uh it's been eight year now oh okay so uh what is tableau and how is it different from the traditional bi tools uh tableau is more comfortable and easy to use tool uh if i consider the uh inbuilt memory like uh, tableau we can use the extracted version of the data and develop the tableau dashboards but most of the bi tool don't support that and the user experience is far more better in tableau compared to other bi tool and the licensing is also there but nowadays like compared to power bi uh like tableau having a kind of expensive maintenance compared to other tool like power bi but considering the other traditional bi tool it is much better considering the data security and the overall experience mm -hmm. okay okay so so what are the different uh, tableau products uh, there are around five different products like tableau reader tableau online uh, tableau server and the tableau desktop is there and the tableau mobile can you explain each of them yeah yeah our tableau public is more like a uh, anyone can publish who have the valid license they can publish the reports on the tableau public and uh, users with the low level of uh, access or no access like they can access that dashboard on tableau public side uh, especially it is for the tableau authors who share their work and other learners who can access their work and learn out of it i mostly use for tableau public for that uh, tableau reader is more for the business users who are not familiar or non tech person so if they want to access or read the reports they can use the uh, tableau reader through their uh, mobile or through their desktop or laptop tableau desktop is more for uh, developing prospect like if you want to develop the uh, tableau dashboard then tableau desktop is a more preferred tool and uh, tableau server is like uh, 
we can store our work or share our work on the tableau server it is a centralized location where the other business user can access the tableau dashboard and uh, also can develop a uh, some sort of basic reporting in tableau server also mm -hmm. okay so considering you are having eight years of experience in tableau so you would have directly you know uh, uh, interacted with the client yeah and uh, would have understood the requirements and then you would have done the design development and deployment and everything yeah so can you explain a uh, uh, little bit more about uh, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the life cycle of uh, of a tableau project the life cycle of tableau project is uh, more into first understanding the requirement like what is the requirement and what the purpose behind that developing the tableau dashboard then the first part is to understand the data and uh, expectations like what kind of insights the user wants to bring out of that data the next step is like to get that data like what are the necessary steps that that needs to follow like where the data, data is present and how we can build up the pipeline like to 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 draw a pipeline like how we can get the data from different server to the centralized location as an example can use we can use the tableau server to collect the data or we can use tableau server as a data source then uh, we can develop the sql script like if the data size depends on data size we can uh, negotiate on the where whether we want to go with the live connection or the extracted version and once that confirm we can go ahead with the uh, confirming the exact layout like what kind of uh, layouts the end user is expecting and whether that layout is perfectly fitting into the, uh, the the type of data that they do have so that i figure out and after that like uh, uh, depends on the exact requirement i develop the dashboard and share with them uh, i develop the protocol first a prototype dashboard and then share with them for validation purpose so if they have any additional requirement in that and that uh, if needed i update the backend sql query to bring the additional field if needed if not then i go ahead and can create the entire the main dashboard and join the data with the actual data source and share with them so in overall life cycle like uh, there is a part of optimization also where the end user expect like kind of optimization in the existing tableau dashboard so if possible i just confirm with them like uh, whatever data fields that they are using into tableau dashboard uh, that can be cut down and keep the necessary data fields itself to reduce the overall data load in the tableau server so that it can be result as a full refreshment of the tableau in the low time compared to what so that's how i think works in rotational mm -hmm. okay okay so uh so there are two terms like majors and dimensions uh yeah. we we mostly hear in analytics terms what are these two the, it's uh, depends on the type of the data if it is measurable for example it is a numerical number or uh, integer number integer kind of data type it comes into the major and uh, in the dimension the data more into the categorical category uh, for example city or the state name or the pin code that comes into dimension date and type like day month that kind of data comes into the dimension mm -hmm. okay so what are the different extensions uh, are there in tableau you know, in which we can store the file uh in twbx extension in which we store the file along with our the worksheet like whatever charts we prepare along with the data uh, we store in twbx extension okay there is one more dot twb right yeah twb is like only the csv version of the work like whatever charts we prepare in a tableau worksheet we only store in twx version it will not contain any data 
or mm -hmm. okay so only the visualization or the reporting part will be there in dot 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 dwd right yeah along with the z it is the zipped version of the data plus whatever worksheet we have mm -hmm. okay so there are two types of connections like live and extract yeah so uh, when do we use them uh in case we have a huge volume of data uh we prefer to go with the extracted version because uh considering the overall uh, size the it takes time if we are considering the live connection like if we go a live connection with the huge volume of data the tableau dashboard will take a huge amount of time to refresh and load so in that case we we prefer extracted version also depends on the business requirement and in case of live let's say if we have a small amount of data or the uh, data having the uh, very limited time frame like a month or a week in that case we prefer to go with the uh, live connection where the end user can track the live movement of the data in the dashboard okay so uh, where do we just uh, you know, perform this thing uh, whether on the the uh, tableau desktop or on tableau server where do we perform this thing uh in the tableau desktop we perform this and while publishing we do it on tableau server mm -hmm. okay so what is the difference between joining and blending uh joining is uh, when we have a, a same data source but in the same data we have to different tables we prefer a joining uh in case of blending let's say we are collecting data from two different sources in that case we do the blending in table okay okay so how good are you in sql um uh, like um, eight i can write eight uh, out of 10 out of 10 mm -hmm. okay so what is the difference between join and union uh join in the join we add uh, or update the data column wise and in union uh, data updates in row wise like horizontally uh let me explain it like uh, let's say we have two different table with the two different data types in joining data type does not matter only if primary key is there we can identify the relation and perform the join operation and in union there is a there should be a same number of column and the same data type supposed to be there then only we can perform union mm -hmm. yeah and uh, in the okay. joining so uh, in join we this go okay so in joining we get we get uh, we add the columns in the data and in union we add the rows Mm -hmm. yeah okay so so in join we uh, we hear a, a join uh, which is self join mm -hmm. uh, when do we use the self join do in you think of any any real time real life scenario uh like i mostly preferred left join actually so it's self join joint is also uh, works similarly it's auto identify the uh, common data common column between two table and returns the results okay okay how you have done common table expressions common table expression yeah i did what are this uh, like in the for the uh, for common table expression like i'm little bit confused uh, like for the basic select statement you are saying or for the uh, sake of testing the uh, calculation within the sql queries we use the temporary table to perform the logic yeah correct the temporary table yeah yeah it's been long time i did it but at the moment i'm not able to recall it no problem yeah it's all right okay so uh have you worked on uh, window functions yeah yeah okay so so what are the difference among row number rank and dense rank Okay, so if we apply a row number on any particular table, uh, it will simply assign a row uh, numbers like ranking from top to bottom, like depends on our condition, like ascending or or in descending order. 
and if we are using a rank let's, uh, it will again assign the rank to each row but if it counts any duplicate record it will give the same number to that duplicate rows and it will not skip the ranking it will give give the very next number or next value to the upcoming or next row uh, for example it's giving it is giving one two three four as rank and at the fourth row if any duplicate record is counted it will again give the same rank as a four and at very next row it will give five rank number five to the next row in the dense rank and if we are using a simply rank it will skip that and give six to the very next row okay so can you provide uh, any real life situation where uh, we use row number rank and dense rank uh, like I used it to identify a uh, duplicate records, but uh, in the real time, like uh, the end user wanted to see how many uh, customers are present in uh, in the particular segment where they had purchased uh, some X products. So for that particular customer ID, I had applied the uh, dense rank to identify customer, but it, it was a small task, task but in most of the SQL queries, I, I have not used Windows function on very extensive way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll provide an example. Okay, okay. Uh, let's say from business, uh, we, we are getting a data set uh, where uh, they have provided some 100 countries mm -hmm. and each country is having uh, the sales number uh, uh, from that city. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the first column is under cities, and the second column is having uh, the sales number. Okay. From businesses, uh, they they want to uh, uh, order those cities. Mm -hmm. uh, so function uh, we should go for row number, rank, or dense rank. Okay. So they want to see the sales uh, city wise. They want to see the overall sales. Like, they they want to see the sales uh, city wise it yeah. should be the ranking yeah okay so in that case uh, i would there will be a different multiple cities present in that for the sales figure right? yeah okay correct okay so in that case i will use the dense rank for the city in apply the dense rank on city column and order it by uh, sales okay. why not rank uh, if I use rank, it will again give me the same and I can aggregate on the uh, sales number. Yeah, that that will also work. Okay, so that means anything will work. Rank or dense rank, both will work. Uh, if I apply rank on the city. Okay, so there is, uh, I think I, I didn't mention and that one. So, okay, so uh, all those hundred cities can mm -hmm. have this same sales numbers i mean uh, there could be cities uh, which can have the same sales numbers yeah yeah okay so in that case uh, uh, which uh, which function should be used rank or dense rank so there could be a same sales number will be there now so i dense rank will be more preferable in that case to avoid uh, duplication like if i've got, i got any repeated sales number then I can identify it through dense rank. It will apply the same number to that particular sales number and return the output. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If if you if you use that rank function, then uh, uh, if you are getting the duplicate, then in that case, the the next uh, value will be skipped, right? Next exactly. Will next be value will be skipped in the rank. So so that is not the expected for that. Yeah. So so that is why I think uh, yeah we should go for dense rank. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Uh, there is uh, uh, one SQL query. I mean, uh, there is mm -hmm. a data set from the business, and uh, uh, the, the data. I'll just, I'm just uh, telling the you the, the schema of the table. Mm -hmm. uh, there are three columns. The first one is ID, second one is the uh, month name, and third one is the revenue. Okay. okay. So there are only twelve records in that table. The the row uh, the first column is uh, ID, which is from first one to twelve. And then month names are from Jan to December, mm -hmm. and uh, the sales numbers are let's say for January the sales numbers are uh, thousand, for mm -hmm. February sales numbers are fifteen hundred, 
and uh, for March uh, sales numbers are let's say 1200. Okay. Now the requirements from business is that uh, they want all the month names where the previous month, uh, sorry, where the current month's revenue was more than the previous month's revenue. Okay. So if I could explain it better, I would say, uh, let's say, I mean, January the first month. So there is no previous month for January. So January will always come in our output because there is nothing to compare with January. So then uh, next comparison, I mean, next month is Feb. Feb Feb's revenue is 1500, Jan's revenue is 1000. Both will be compared. And here Feb's revenue is more than the Jan's revenue. So Feb should come in our output. To Jan and then Feb uh, is coming in our uh, in our output, and then in the March the revenue is 12, 1200 and Feb the revenue is fifteen hundred. So March revenue is lesser than the Feb's revenue, so March should not come in our uh, result set. So like this, the the numbers are there, and uh, so so on the basis of this comparison and all, uh, the business is uh, looking for the all the months where uh, the revenue was more than the previous month. Got it. Got it. Got it. So yeah. uh, there is function uh, where we can access the, uh, uh, the previous low. I'm not able to recall at the moment. It is for uh, lagging or leading uh, keyword we use in SQL. So we can use the case statement and build up the conditions like if the uh, leading month sales is less than or greater than. Like if it is greater than uh, lagging month sales, then it will apply. Uh, rank to that particular month or it will return that particular month with sales uh, like that we can develop the case statement and paste it mm -hmm. okay yeah yeah we, we should use uh, that lag yeah. and lead functions only yeah yeah so with that function we can achieve that result okay okay there is one more uh, scenario based question uh, uh, there is uh, there is a client. Uh, uh, they they are looking to launch a product in the market. Their mm -hmm. competitors has already launched uh, one of the products in the market, mm -hmm. and uh, the competitors are doing pretty well. So our client uh, they they got all the data related to the the new product that they are planning to launch. Mm -hmm. So they they want to do the the complete analysis before even uh, starting the launch of the product so what kind of data you will ask from the client to do this all analysis so i will ask our uh, data like uh, the overall customer retention data like the purchase history of the entire uh, time frame like it how long it was for like for one year or for past two year data i will ask and i will specifically look for uh, the kind of products and how frequently they are uh, selling or how they are uh, what kind of strategy basically they had built to sell the products like if they are uh, uh, develop they have developed any bundled uh, strategy like they are selling out with uh, selling out the extra products or giving any extra discounts to the customer and overall price of the customer and i will also look for the uh, feedback data of that particular competitors customer like what kind of feedback they are getting and i will simply compare that with our feedback data like what is the difference and where i will try to identify the gap between the business strategies based on the data uh, and out of that how, how we can implement a effective business strategy like that kind of analysis i'll try to do like i'll try to involve the regression or forecasting with a specified data model and we'll try to showcase that into the dashboard so i think uh, that that would help them to, to implement a business strategy against a competitor based on that data mm -hmm. okay okay so pretty much i'm done uh, do you have any question for me yeah yeah like considering this profile like i wanted to understand the like exact expectation for this particular opening okay so i think you are having eight years of experience right yeah yeah 
Uh, so it, it will be a senior tableau developer role uh, where uh, the requirement will be uh, the uh, you will be uh, directly interacting with the client and mm -hmm. uh, understand the requirement from them mm -hmm. uh, implementing the design document uh, and uh, doing that mock data preparation that you told and then mm -hmm. based on their approval or such changes they suggest the development and uh, testing and deployment will all go hand in hand mm -hmm. yeah so this will be the pretty much role yeah, but uh, the more information will be shared later. Uh, those will be shared by Sasi or someone else. Okay. okay. Anything else? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, um, no, nah, I'm done for now. Like, I'm, I will wait for feedback. It was pretty good. Sure, sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for joining the call. Thanks. Thanks, Imran. Have a good day.